Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 1 and a pilot episode of a My Player here on FIFA 18. Those of you that have been with me for a number of years will know that in FIFA 14, 15 and 16, a My Player series was one of the main series on the channel and, you know, kind of the the foundations of what built the channel up to where it is today. We used to have a strong My Player series alongside a one strong Karimo series, in fact, maybe even two strong Karimo series. And uh, I know a number of you used to watch the My Player religiously. So the gameplay at the beginning of the year, well, rephrase, the gameplay last year on FIFA 17 didn't really lend itself to a My Player, so I didn't do one this year. But I'm contemplating because from what I've played of FIFA 19 so far at... Uh, EA Play, etc. Um, the gameplay might actually genuinely suit a My Player series next year. So to kind of reignite the idea of a My Player here on the channel, I thought I'd do one uh, for the last month or so, last two months or so of uh, of the FIFA 18 year, so to speak, the FIFA year. But do it with a twist. Obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo has moved from Real Madrid to Juventus, leaving a void up top at the Spanish Giants. They do have. Karim Benzema still in real life. Well, you've seen this a week after I'm recording it, so <laughs> he may have been sold by the time you see this, but at time of recording, they still have Karim Benzema at the club. Obviously, this has been set up with the same transfer updates that were in the Fulham career mode save as well. So all of the transfers that were done in that save are there in this. So Alisson to uh, Liverpool, etc. And all of the Wolves signings, uh, a couple of other big ones, including obviously Ronaldo to Juventus. So hopefully we can have a very good season here at Real Madrid. With regards my actual pro himself, uh, he is... Uh, well, my commentary name is Downish Chase, because that was the closest I could get to anything that sounded even remotely like Chez. Obviously, when you set your guy up as a striker, I am playing a striker, of course, trying to replace Ronaldo at Real Madrid. It's a case of replacing Ronaldo at Real Madrid as opposed to following Cristiano's full career and starting at Sporting, going to Real, Madrid, going to Manchester United and then to Real Madrid. Obviously, to do a series like that, I'd need more time. So it's specifically about replacing Ronaldo at Real for this particular series. But here's the commentary name. Chase. Chase, which is as close... As close as I could get to anything sounding remotely like Chez. So <laughs> that's my commentary name. Obviously, kit name is Wood. I'm down. First name surname is my real first name is surname, known as Chesnoid. Kit number seven, as that was what Cristiano was. Uh, I haven't done any adjustments to the face other than uh, blue eyes, ginger hair. Uh, it's, it's a shame that you can't do it on the previous Ignite engine on FIFA 16 and previously, you could scan in on the website. A picture of yourself and have downloaded in game your game face. You can't do that on the Frostbite engine, uh, or at least you couldn't on FIFA 17 or 18. Maybe it'll be introduced for 19. I'd, I'd like to hope so, but I'm unsure. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, again, default boots, there aren't many available. Obviously, you have to unlock them via achieving, achieving accomplishments, but I've gone with the Nike Mercurial uh, Superfly 6s. Uh, the orange, black and white ones as you can see. I quite like those actually and they suit the Real Madrid kit as well I think. But we shall uh, move further forward. Sleeves just set to short. I can't adjust anything else personally at present. Free kick style. I've gone with Ronaldo's free kick style with a deep breath. Similarly for penalty with a deep breath and the stance. Default running celebration I believe is like uh, a finger wag. Yes, finger wag. There you go. That's my default running celebration. And then my signature finishing move at present what I'd like to make it is, obviously, I can't remember what it's actually called here. I could do the calm down, because that's one that Ronaldo's done. Um, it's not, I can't remember what it's actually called on here. I know it's locked to start off with, I think. The, you know, with the C. Um, but what I've got on currently is the thigh point. Again, another one that Cristiano has used in real life. Um, what is the... I'm trying to think. Is it this? No, that's Rooney, isn't it? Right here, right now. That's the Ronaldo one. Right here, right now. That's what hopefully I will eventually unlock. And then my uh, traits and stuff, obviously, still all completely locked. My guy isn't six foot four, like I am in real life. He's five foot ten or eleven, I believe. 
uh, one of the two, can't quite remember, because obviously the higher you go, the lower your physical stats are with regards to pace, etc. And with it being FIFA, pace is important, and with me trying to replicate Ronaldo, gonna need some pace. As you set up a save, there is an option to do a plus five attribute boost. Now, because this is obviously a shorter series, uh, or hoping to be a shorter series, if you guys don't enjoy the video, then I'll do a season three of Leverkusen instead, but hopefully you do. And uh, like I say, there's a plus five attribute boost. I've used that, so I am currently 71 rated. So with regards to squad ranking, I'm 26th highest rated player at the squad. With regards to fellow strikers, we've got Benzema, Borja Mayoral at 72, and then me on 71. So a good pre-season, and I could fire myself up above Borja Mayoral and be in fighting with Karim Benzema for a first-team spot right off the bat. I'm not sure what formation they play here at Real Madrid. We will find out in due course. We'll play the first friendly game in this pilot episode. My objectives for the season are to keep a match rating of 7.3 or better, get 5 assists, 13 goals, and maintain no less than a 16% shot-to-goal conversion rate which is quite low, actually, so I can kind of have the odd pop shot and not worry too much about ruining that. But I never really worry too much about the conversion percentage. It's more about getting the assists and the goals and the overall rating, although you get the goals and the assists, the rating comes hand in hand. So we do have a strong squad here at Real Madrid, obviously. Uh, the squad report is laid out the same way that it was in previous FIFAs, not got the squad hub on my player this year. Um, it's just because they haven't given the attention to the game mode that it deserves, really. But hopefully things will change in the foreseeable future. But we shall play the first game of pre-season against Liverpool. We've also got Boca Juniors and Lazio in the uh, in the group. Obviously, pre-season is important. Every single game is important as a player in a my player because you can improve in any given game. We are in the starting lineup here playing against Liverpool. I believe we might be playing up top alongside... Benzema, and indeed we are in a 4-1-2-1-2. So as it happens, we're third choice striker in a two-striker formation. Two striker formation. So we have the opportunity to immediately be first choice, provided we can put in the performances. Bale occasionally gets played at striker for Real Madrid, as we've seen in the Leverkusen series uh, where we played against Real Madrid, and Bale plays, played at striker. But I shall play it as myself, not the entire team. On Legendary, the sliders are still in effect that I use in all of my other series, so it is going to be more difficult. So it will be a challenge trying to replicate or replace Ronaldo, but it's a challenge I'd like to try and pick up between now and the end of uh, FIFA 18. If you enjoy the video and you'd like to see more, do let me know in the comment section and hit the thumbs up button. This will replace the Fulham episode for the day. Fulham will return again tomorrow on Monday, and because uh, I get back from London on Saturday evening or Sunday afternoon. I'm not sure yet. So uh, I recorded ahead for a full video every single day up until yesterday. And then obviously today is going to be this. And then tomorrow Fulham will return daily again. And this will supplement that if you would like to see this continue. So this would be like the Tuesday night, the Thursday night, the Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon upload. As well as Fulham every single day. If not, maybe more regularly than four uploads a week if I can... Uh, find the time to make the videos. Of course, I've got Gamescom coming up at the end of the month as well, so I'm away for another week. So there's a lot going on right now. Of course, it's running up to FIFA launch again, so it is very busy. But let's see what Liverpool's starting lineup looks like. Sadio Mane and uh, Adekanye. Sorry, I don't know why I struggled to say that so much. Uh, out wide, supporting Gomez up top. Henderson, Williams and Fabinho in the middle. Of course, Fabinho are signing that we've moved in this save. Uh, Gallagher, Masterson... Clavan, Alexander Arnold, and Bogdan in the rest of their starting lineup. So it's not the strongest, but not the worst. And then I didn't actually look at who else was in my starting lineup. Zidane in goal, Tejero, Nacho, Sergio Ramos, Hikimi, who we signed at Leverkusen, obviously, Casemiro, Kovacic, Llorente, Asensio, Benzema, and myself. Now, normally, I play in sides that have a lone striker in my player. So, A, I've not played my player at all this year on FIFA 18, so it's going to be uh, a challenge to adjust, but also it is going to be nice to have a strike partner up top alongside me. So we'll see how we get on. Essentially, we're winning the ball back immediately there. We'll be just the one game in today's pilot episode, and then moving forward, we will have at least two, uh, two games per episode, maybe three, depending on, obviously time constraints with making the Fulham series daily as well but we're involved immediately getting the throw there from a Tejero 
gone back out wide to him again. I am here available. And I could shoot here from the edge of the box, and I will, but Bogdan makes a comfortable save. A nice through ball to Gomez. He's in behind, and that's a great finish as well. They're talking about my debut in commentary, or at least they were. Now they're talking about Liverpool having scored a goal. Really good finish from Gomez. He's got Carrera on the back of his shirt. Mistake from the defender, slotted through, and a powerful finish. If I could emulate that myself at the other end, that'd be great, but we're behind early doors here. Carrera on the run again. Sadio Mane turning inside there to Williams, to Henderson. I have to get used to trying to adjust my own position again. Being wary of that affecting my match rating. Jordan Henderson draws a good save out of Luka Zidane. And tried to head it back into the middle, but Tejero got something on it, I believe. Indeed he did. I'm not in the box defensively, but if he comes to the edge, I will have to dart in. It's not coming to the edge. It comes to Masterson, and that was actually, I believe, Hakimi that got onto that. Not the goalkeeper to clear it away. Liverpool starting very much on the front foot here, and quite considerably. And obviously have been the better side so far. But can we turn things around? Karim Benzema inside to Casemiro. Wasn't a bit of space. Didn't call for it on that occasion. I'll look to play through Marco Asensio, but he can't outmuscle Clavan, unfortunately. Was on his favoured left foot there. If he'd have gotten it under control, we might well have found a quick equaliser. Sadly, on this occasion, not to be, but we are going to get another opportunity. In there to Mateo Kovacic. Looking to get myself forward again, but another poor piece of possession play from a Real Madrid teammate. Uh, we'll look for Asensio again. Okay, that's Urente. Asensio back to me. I'll give it a crack from the edge of the box. Blocked by a defender. Corner for Real. To be delivered by Mateo Kovacic. Oof, went for it there, but Henderson clears well. Sadio Mane will complete the clearance for Liverpool. Asensio to Benzema. And make the run and call for the through ball. Running through the channel. And it will reach me. Get it under control, Tiz. We're in the box in a decent position. And that is a good showing of why I'm 71 rated. Ha! <laughs> okay, definitely need to improve. But the most important thing is that we're getting into positions to score goals. That's three attempts we've had already. Gives me promising signs that we will be eventually very, very dangerous in front of goal. Free kick for Liverpool, Sadio Mane to deliver it in towards the box, and deliver it he does, and deliver it well. Llorente underneath it though, Williams knocks that down to Adekanye, and that wasn't far away at all. Had the goalkeeper Lucas Zidane sprawling towards his right-hand post, but wasn't troubled in the end. Trent Alexander-Arnold, on the edge of the box, pushed forward from right back, Adekanye gets it out of his feet, looks to bend it home, but again, wider the target from the young man, although it did take a touch off the defender, so it will be a corner. Jordan Henderson to deliver. Good delivery too. Underneath it is Nacho Fernandez. Drops here to Williams. Could shoot. Decides to play it into Adekanye. He's shot. He's on target this time. But saved by Luka Zidane. We haven't created anything for a little while. Not since my rather horrid effort that went well wide. Liverpool dominating proceedings yet again towards the end of the second half. But fingers crossed. Well, towards the end of the first half, sorry. But fingers crossed in the second half. We can be a little bit more creative. Get ourselves a goal. Either as a team or... Most importantly, individually. Fabinho driving forward. He's got options and he's going to find Jordan Henderson who shoots well over the top of the bar. That was a good opportunity for the captain. He should have done much better with that. Liverpool could have extended their lead to 2-0 before half-time. But they were unable to do it. This match, in actual fairness, it's literally only just dawned on me. But at least team-wise, obviously not playing personnel-wise, but team-wise is... A replay of the Champions League final. I don't know why it took so long for my brain to actually remember that. Benzema inside there to me. I'll look for a sensor but not be able to find him. Would have been a great move around the corner if we could have gotten it to him. I'll try and steal it off the defender. We put him under pressure and that might well be a corner for us. It is. Terrible defending but the corner will come in here from Mateo Kovacic. I'll call for it. And it's headed my way but I'm not going to get there. Jordan Henderson rises well. Here's Llorente. If he can come back central, I'll call for it. I'm not going to get it. There's a half-time whistle. Sweep that nicely into Benzema. Back to Asensio. I'll call for it again. I'm not going to get it from him. Casemiro will find me, though, and I'll help it on the way around the outside to Tejero, pushing forward from left-back. I'm going to get myself in the box. Cross deflected straight to Adam Bogdan, unfortunately, but I'm being involved in a lot of the build-up, which is good. My teammates seem to immediately trust me with the ball, which is a very good sign. Playing it to me when I call for it as well. I'll give it through there looking for Karim Benzema. And he could shoot here and has. Looking for our first assist. But on his left foot. It was pretty tame. Well wide of the target. 
Free kick for Liverpool. Marcelo's just come on for Tejero, so we've made a defensive change. There's another effort on goal for Liverpool. They've brought on Marcelo. Marcelo. Mo Salah. Obviously, they have Marcelo on the brain. Just brought on Mo Salah, so they've made an offensive change, but Mo Salah is up against. Oh, nearly got that under control. Marcelo is up against Mo Salah now. So I don't know whether the change was made to react to Mo Salah coming on or not with Tejero going off at left back but Salah looking to set up Mane and Mane finds only the side netting but we just got our first accomplishment there of the series Luka Modric coming on for fellow Croat uh, Mateo Kovacic just got our first accomplishment for 10 short passes I have been involved quite a bit in uh, build up play which has been good fun trying to build in kind of a, a stereotypical Spanish La Liga style way tick attacker passing had to drop a little bit deeper to get some more touches of the ball. But Asensio, oh, I was just about to call for that. Modric, I trust in possession, though. And here is Luca again after playing the 1 2 with Karim Benzema. And we've spun well. And I'm going to look to get that back across there to Asensio. Draws a good save out of Bogdan. Again, heavily involved in the build up play. Benzema going off. Gareth Bale coming on up top. Now, is he going to go alongside me? Or, yes, he is. Gareth Bale being played at striker alongside Karim Benzema. Corner to come in from that far side. It's whipped. Keeper might come for that. He hasn't. Modric will pick up possession again. And I'll keep my space in the area. Wait for the ball to be delivered. He's bailed to Asensio. He's shot. But I think that came off a teammate rather than a defender. Either way, blocked. Straight to Adam Bogdan. Simple save. That quickly to me. I'll look for Bale. Now, will Bale be a better strike partner than Karim Benzema? I hope so. He's a higher rated player. And without doubt, a better player all told as well but is he a better striker I'm not sure looking to slot that through and Mane battling well with Hakimi Mane comes out on top here's Mo Salah across to Naby Keita off the bench Sergio Ramos does what Sergio Ramos does best right place right time makes the challenge Jordan Henderson to take the corner I'm on near post duty Divock Origi's just come on for uh, Gomez will win that header and find Luka Modric and Hakimi will get that into Asensio and Cruz will bring the ball away and he's swept it quickly for me and Bale has made the run and it quite put enough on the pass though unfortunately otherwise we could have set him away in behind 15 minutes to go still 1-0 Liverpool but it's been a very end-to-end -end game with plenty of chances at both ends again I'll look to send Bale away but this time Fabinho is in the way good blocking from him as well so on a 7 overall rating couple of loose passes letting me down a little bit in recent moments but Origi smacks the bar and that should spin out for a goal kick no it's a throw in that wasn't far away from 2-0 at all was it here's Fabinho lovely through ball to Mo Salah what can he do here he's on his right foot now he's on his left back to Fabinho shot comes in they've hit the bar for a second time Hakimi can't get it away and Origi will tuck it home for 2-0 Liverpool not necessarily full payback for a Champions League final defeat, but they are at least getting the better of Real Madrid here, Liverpool. Twice they hit the bar now. Once through Mane, once through Fabinho, and now Origi. Oh, defender's really unlucky. Outstretched leg and it went underneath it. 2-0 Liverpool, and that is probably game over. It's going to be defeat in our first game here at Real Madrid, but plenty of promising signs, even with a weaker side being played. I'm not sure if I'll be in the starting lineup every single week to start off with. Obviously, they do have higher rated options than me to play on a regular basis, but I'm going to try my best to force my way into the starting lineup. And fingers crossed, we can do that sooner rather than later. I'll be rejecting all loan bids that come in. I want to force my way into this Real Madrid starting lineup as soon as possible. Luka Modric doing some good defensive work, but Divock Origi doing some of his own. Beautiful turn by Mane. origue has got options, but Hakimi blocks it well. And Fabinho tackles him and inexplicably shoots from the most ridiculous angle. Virgil van Dijk coming on to try and firm up for Liverpool. We've gone all out attack and have been for quite a while now in the game. A number of players pushed forward. And just kind of bounced off a teammate. And Sadio Mane will look to maybe play the ball down the line or inside. Turning and driving inside himself. And Modric makes the tackle. Three minutes added on, but the probably won't be another chance in the game but I'm quite pleased with the way that I've played in pre-season at least it's not necessarily all about the result it's about the performance and if we're putting in a good performance 
and show it. Oh, she's about to play the pass and showing that we can do a job here at Real Madrid. Then hopefully it won't be long before we find ourselves in the starting lineup sooner rather than later. We made our debut, so we're getting a few accomplishments here. Strength going up one as well, with having 50% stamina left at the end of the game. I can now untuck my shirt, which I'm sure almost every single one of you will want me to do, because I know that you guys absolutely hate uh, players having tucked shirts. I learned that out by doing the uh, youth regen road to glory. So I shall go into my uh, edit pro. And we shall untuck my shirt. Where's the option? Waist. Untucked. There you go. At least we can do one thing right in today's episode. Although I'm, I'm, I'm fairly pleased with my performance there. In the next video, if you'd like to see this series continue, we'll play both Boca Juniors and Lazio in the remainder of the, uh, of the games in the group stage. We've got Barcelona in the Spanish Super Cup coming up as well be nice to start in those games but for now for a pilot episode do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below would you like to see a full my player return from fifa 19 obviously it wouldn't be trying to uh use the boost and then replace a player that's moved in real life it would be starting my own journey from the very bottom of uh, the rating system and the very bottom of the football pyramid rather than starting at the very top at real madrid well i could start at a top team and then maybe go out on loan We'll play it by ear. But for now, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I'll see you next time.